My name is Christine. My name is Clark. And we are here for another episode of the Sit Down Podcast. Excellent. Right welcome. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to our town of Bellevue here at and uh, you, Le Capitan you. restaurant. Um, what did you guys think of the drive-in? Beautiful. Yeah? Yeah, very beautiful. Uh, rain cleared up for us and got some sun on the way in, so. Heck yeah. Beautiful. Love nice. the, all the farmland and like there was fresh harvest on one side of the road. I videoed a little bit because it was so nice. Perfect. Yeah. City, city people. Yeah. Yeah. City, city <laughs> well, yeah. stickers. Um, we have to live there right now, so. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's yeah. the drive that we do every week. Amazing. On our way to Saskatoon. Yeah. yeah, it's not that bad, hey? No, it's very yeah. nice. It would be like a really good decompress. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I do. I, when I drive to the capital, it's like I put on a podcast and mm-hmm. I just empty my brain. Totally. I, Your I, own I, podcast? No, yeah, no, no, right. no. I don't listen to my own. Um, <laughs> I will tell you the drive back, watch for wildlife. Sure. Because yes. there's like moose and deer and wow. yeah, yeah. So just don't hit the moose. Just yes. be oh, very, yeah. be <laughs> very careful on the drive back for sure. <laughs> um, yeah. So welcome again. We have invited you guys in here today. We actually met at one of the open stages. I mm-hmm. can't remember how many weeks ago that was, mm-hmm. um, but Two we got in. Two yeah, weeks? Two weeks ago. Yeah. Right? Something like that. We got into a little bit of conversation after you had performed because you, you did a great job there and we were very intrigued on, on who you guys were and come to find out that, that you your guy- guitar player is Dutch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Dirt yeah. DeVore, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you threw me off Sorry. there. <laughs> but no, I found out you were saying how you guys have started a record label in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan here, and my eyes just lit up right away. I'm like, holy shit, tell me more. I want to know all about this. I think it's brilliant. Um, it's genius. It's brilliant. And um, there's there's a, a cause attached to it, I think. Oh, so and it, and so I, that's is what makes it... As appealing better. as it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I really want to know a lot more about this because I, I want school. everyone to know what mm-hmm. it is. I know what it is already, but if you could tell the people at home who are yes. watching or listening, For I think sure. it'd be great. Is this where we wind you up and you just go? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Here we go. <laughs> 45 <laughs> minutes will be done <laughs> right away. Here. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so I was just talking a little bit ago about how... Uh, I have been doing music all my life. I started writing music at a very young age at um, my family heirloom piano at my house that my mom grew up playing. It was actually purchased in Canada by my grandfather. Um, So it really likes our climate and it is still so beautiful. I actually moved it five times in five years and it hasn't been tuned and it's like barely out. So it's pretty incredible. What? (laughs) And I absolutely love it. If everything in my life burned and I lost that piano, it'd probably be the only thing I'd actually cry over because it means everything to me. Um, So you could almost say like music has been, well, like it's kind of cliche to say it this way, but like our music school as well as our label are called Remedy. And honestly, that's really what music has been all my life. And in about like 2017, somebody, I I met someone who really helped my life along in about six weeks time, just had some great things to say and like could actually see who I was and really helped me. And it was actually him who said that music is a remedy. Um, And and when he said it, I was like, like, oh yeah that's a good word for it so anyway back to the fact that like I feel like I wouldn't be where I am without it as both my escape my comfort and like the way I've processed everything from every bit of trauma I've ever experienced which has honestly been too much (laughs) um and then it has helped me get through that and then I chose to leave religion um when I was in my early 30s and I'd been raised in it all my life um and I this is not to say anything against the people who were in my life 
but the system and the organization that I was in was not right. Um, and I left all of that behind. There's so much to that part of the story, which I'm not going to get into. But, And then a few years later, I actually ended up leaving a marriage. Um, and my ex and I are still really good friends. He's also an artist and a musician in Saskatoon, very successful, very good uh, human being, um, doing lots of great things, too, in Saskatoon. But we spent 10 years in inner city together when we were married from when I turned 20 till 30, and I spent all my time working with single mothers, women who um, had lost their children due to addiction and wanted them back, um, young adults and couples who just like became our family and like we were in their weddings. And um, I really like from the life that I'd knew, known growing up to that life that I experienced in that 10 years, it really like showed me what family is. And it was like living in a small town right inside the heart of Saskatoon. And there's not a mistake in calling it the heart of the city because that is where the heart of the city lies for sure. Um, but in that time, I was a volunteer only. I was a stay-at-home mom, had all my kids in my 20s on purpose. It's what I wanted with my life. And um, I learned about what music could do. I was working with lots of youth with severe trauma and it's crazy because I could relate and so we had like some really great times. I started a youth band, um, worked with the youth every single week. I was teaching music in the school that we started and teaching them how to write music, how to use music to keep going. Um, we had some of our youth take their lives and it was hard um, and yeah it was the thing that really was evidently the way through struggle. And um, I left uh, the inner city. I was a part of a church at the time, nothing against that church. I really love the people there. And I left there with my husband at one point. There was some situations that happened with actually one of my students. And um, it was a mental health issue too. And we had to move on and try to seem like we left town so we moved to the east side and and then we focused on our children and I was still writing music all the time but never performing ever I was a music teacher uh, but I didn't perform my own art ever um, and then I left my husband in my early 30s and I lived as a single mother pretty much for years and my music is what helped me stay alive <laughs> personally as I dealt with my trauma and everything but also um, it is how I took care of my kids um, I don't want to get into any severe details, but no child support. Um, and I used music to stay alive. And, uh, and I've been teaching since 2011 officially as a business in Saskatoon. And my, like, the canopy even of our music label is My Artistry, which was my first business and brand. And it continues to be online for my private music lessons. But um, my artistry is a tree, and these are the branches of my trees. So the music school I started in the fall of 2021 is called Remedy Music School, and the focus of the school is on helping support artists in creating the art of their life and finding the sound that only they can make that's authentic and true to them and is really the part of them that's alive. And like maybe people don't always know what's going on on the inside of everyone but teaching artists to say you know what I'm gonna let people hear and know what's going on in the inside of my life because that is my art and one of the slogans for the Remedy Music label is you are your art and your art is you um, another slogan is that the definition of art is authentic roots truth and it kind of ties into the tree concept which is the logo for both our music label and our music school um, but yeah, we focus on music for mental health and how music is good for your mental well-being. And um, yeah, it's been, it's not been that long. So we are still like learning and growing and I think we always will be. But um, yes, lots of exciting things are happening. Hell yeah. That's awesome. All right. I'm going to play a song I wrote in the early part of 2023 for my son after a conversation about life and struggle and whether it's worth it and 
this song just literally was right there after I hung up from the phone. And so, yeah, it's called Given. song is not on an album I released at the end of May this year called Home. Um, definitely a very special project to me. Um, kind of encompasses portions of the story of how I got to and how it feels um, being home in who I am, comfortable in who I am, and then finding trust with another person, which is what makes you feel like you're home as well. So that's a really uh, special song for my son on that project. And yeah, it's all over the internet under my name. It, I, I f***ing <laughs> love it <laughs> too, man. Yeah. Um, so I just said so that so that you know you can swear on here. It's totally okay. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so the artists that you have on your label, do they come to you or do you find them? Yeah, are you they've seeking them out? They've all come to us so far. We... And, like, and do they know, do they come to your label because of your cause? They, like, they just hear about what's going on and want to talk to us. We talk and then they say, well, I want to be a part of it. And right. I mean, I'm not saying this is the way things go. It's just the way it's gone so far. Yeah, right. Yeah. Due to the fact we run a music school and the label, we have a family. I'm an artist creating art regularly, releasing art regularly. Yeah. We put on events. There's a lot going on in our life. So we yeah. haven't really had the time to scout anything out. It's all just coming to us. So yeah. Word of mouth. Word of mouth, yeah, for yeah. sure. Perfect. Perfect. That's so... Awesome. When did you 
uh, become a part of, of the label thing? Like, if you, if you were starting it, like, where do you come into this, Clark? We started it together last October. Um, I worked in the corporate world for 16, 16. years. Okay. Um, as a geologist, northern Saskatchewan, uh, in, into a job as a project manager, and it just wasn't satisfying me. Um, that type of lifestyle, lots of travel, um, and just the corporate world, I thought I had more to give than what I was doing. Um, and yeah, we started this up last October, so I've been in it since since then. Since the inception of the idea and the logical process and the planning and everything. Right. So you, you said before that you're not an artist, but you're a supporter of the arts, right? Correct, yeah. So does that mean you have a, does, does that mean he has a different s kind of view of what's going on it's in the music so industry? so helpful. Yeah? Just not even, like, like, when you say that phrase, in the music industry, like, He's way more of a music nerd than me. Like, he knows everything. Um, I was in the religious world, and I wasn't allowed to listen to secular music all my life. Oh. So it was literally in my 30s that I started to know what's happened in the world right. throughout my lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm a freaking lover of the 90s, like, and grunge. But And little did I know <laughs> the reason why I was pulling out my dad's shirts and wearing giant shirts that were baggy and, like, ripped yeah clothes when I was a kid was because I just was a part of that era yeah, yeah, yeah. but I didn't even know what was happening in the era but anyways he's the like music nerd he knows things he knows about the lead singers the stories of their lives and like who committed suicide when and yep. it's been awesome to have him as a resource and then he's got an incredible ear like very intelligent ear so um I guess maybe in meeting each other, we might have both realized things in ourselves that we didn't know were there. And like, I was able to recognize the value of his ear and then just I, his intelligence in general about music and the world. And so, yeah, he's been a huge contributor. <clears throat> All right, this next song's called Ache. And it talks about the feeling inside of all of us of wanting to be connected with other human beings. And when you think about it, we're born literally glued to the insides of a human being, and we're drawing all of our nourishment from being close to someone's heartbeat, from feeling their life in our life, and then we go about life alone. And I realized most of my life due to trauma that I was always alone in everything and I didn't want to be alone anymore, and it was like an ache inside me, and it literally drove me to learn how to trust. So this song's special as well. It was on the album I released in August of 2022 called Dead or Alive, and this song is called Ache.
It's a great room, actually. The acoustics are really nice. It's the hard floor and the shape. I love it. Come out to Bellevue. <laughs> it's party time. Walk, walk me through this. If I'm an artist and I'm coming to you guys, just <coughs> I'm green. I've got no music out there, nothing released, but I do know how to play and I can sing a little bit, written, scribbled a little bit here and there. And I'm coming to you guys for help. Mm -hmm. Can you walk me through that process? Yeah. So, like, the first thing I'd ask somebody is just, like, um, do you want to tell me about your history? What made you want to talk to us? Right. Um, what are you looking for? Like, what are you hungry for? What are you, like, s wanting to see that you don't already see? I won't say it necessarily like that, but that's the summary of what I'd be asking in all right. my questions. You know, um, who yeah, are you? Who just are trying to get to know that that's it. as yeah. an individual 100%, first, right? 100%. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. What, is your, what are mus your music interests? What's your genre? Um, do you have any music out online? What's the song you're most proud of? Like, tell me why you're proud of yeah, it. Yeah. Um, and then I listen to it and I talk back to them about it, not necessarily in person, because a lot of times you're talking online first. So, yep. um, and then just, I ask them, have you visited the website? Have you visited the Remedy Music School website? Just, and I tell them, just take a, a little bit of time, go through the pages, like see what's going on, read about it. And we put our heart and soul in the words and the content of what we put on there. And we hired some incredible artists in town, a uh, husband and wife couple. They did both our websites and we just feel like they really represent what we want. And we just ask, like I'll say, you know, check it out and then talk to me about it. Let me know how you're feeling. Right. And then, you know, I never even bring up mental health. It's something, it comes up at some point because we talk about what we, why we want to do what we're doing. But like it often comes up through subtle statements like, you know, I, someone says, you know, music's been my rescue. And we're like, oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. 
well, hello, we know what that's like. And then we just like, we can like nerd out about that. And, and then we end up saying, we'd love to meet with you. We can meet online, have a phone call, or you can come to the studio and sit with us and play some of your songs for us, talk to us, and let's just see, you know, we'll show you our contract. It has two sides. And I like, don't want to really talk about it uh, on, t on like TV. Right. <laughs> but um, <laughs> just because it's private between yeah. us and them. Yeah, but yeah, like we, sure. we talk them through why we designed it the way we did and, and why we you know, don't take money from our artists for any of the work they do. Because how would that be supporting your mental health? Like, I don't need yep. to gain from that. And I'm not saying that if you are taking money from an artist's work that you are not good or anything, but just for me, with the th reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, financial stress, you ain't gonna be creative. You aren't yeah. gonna be inspired. Yep. You're gonna be like everyone else. Yep. And so, um, yeah, we just get talking about what they're looking for. We talk about us, we let them see us and know us, you know? And then often they're saying, well, I wanna be a part of this. Right. And we just, so because we haven't sought it out, we've, you know, we've talked with everyone who's at interest. And some people have thought it through and maybe feel whatever, it's, it's not for them, it's not the right thing. Also, maybe wondering, let's just, I want to keep my eye on these people for a while, like, yeah. see how this all evolves. What kind yeah. of people are they going to bring on their label? What yeah. kind of standards are they going to have? So, um, we're very in the moment people, so we've been like evolving as we go, growing as we go, but we knew our mission statement and our goals from the beginning, and so we allow. Um, that conversation with the artist when we meet them to just kind of be whatever time frame it's at. This is what we've learned so far. This is what we do. This is our like structure of our, you know, every year we have all kinds of events. We have competitions. We have artist of the year awards coming up in October. Oh. Three people have won and we've commissioned a beautiful handmade, um, like an artist in town's making an award for the winner. Oh, cool. And yeah, there's lots going on. So we just like, kind of like welcome them into that world and say let's go yeah, yeah, yeah. i freaking love that so uh, is there is there any any are there any reservations to who you don't work with up to this point no okay but through experiences through going on a tour through lots of like we have an open mind we're always wanting to learn we've learned a lot so our last year's contract and and the materials within it that aren't on the contract that are just about us have grown and we've yeah. learned a lot so so it's definitely we, we aren't necessarily saying no to people but we're definitely going to be careful with like the process and i guess it's also the way you uh interact with people that'll um maybe it's not the right word but maybe that'll deter people from signing sure. up with you sure. you know like this is not the right fit for sure yeah. like this is too vulnerable or yeah, yeah. or or, yeah, this is or not you I guys yeah. like and not i don't really care what people think i mean i'm trying to learn not to but <laughs> I, I actually in this way I, I i don't worry about it but i feel like the way that we want to do what we do not everyone's gonna like that that way right. that's right? right yep yeah that's like yeah when an artist is looking for a studio to record an album at it's yep. not just whatever's the most affordable because maybe that producer is an asshole and yeah, you know just cheap, and is in it for himself it. and he'll for just sure. chop up your song and make it his own and for then sure. whatever whatever it's it's really about that personal relationship yes, with the people sure. if it clicks mm -hmm. That's probably who you should be working yeah, with, right? Yeah, and they probably yep. know that, right? <laughs> they're looking for something. I'd hope so. Yeah. They're looking for something, and they see something that they're looking for. And like, just like us, when we go looking for a car, like, you know, for me, I like old cars. You know, I wouldn't just pick anything. I want it to have the right headlights and yeah. the right shape of stuff. And like, I think it's just like that in life. So. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. And it's their art, right? It's yeah. pretty precious. So. Agreed. Yep. Yeah. You were saying earlier too off air how like we were talking about like the truth of it, right? The truth of the artist, their like the their story, their, their, story, their yes. legit sound, mm -hmm. right? It's not just all about oh what's the new technology no. thing here that we can do to make no. it sound good. Yeah. Like you were saying earlier, like the rawness of it, mm -hmm. like the true you. Yeah. I freaking love that. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. we see that on Tuesdays mm -hmm. on open stage. Mm -hmm. It's like there's no 
gimmicks or no showboating up yeah. here. It's just like this is yeah, what it get is. Get some mm-hmm. reverb and yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the feeling it. on Tuesdays with and you guys is very yeah. much. And I've only been there twice. And by the way, it was last week when we talked for the first time. Okay. Was last it? Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> but anyways, um, in the space, like you can very much tell that everyone feels comfortable going up and being who they are. I, I remember the nerves and it being way more uptight and it's chill. Right. So that's cool. I, I kind of found that too from the time, like we started in December up until now. It's, I've, if I look back on it, I can see a little bit of an evolution on it. Oh yeah. <coughs> what I'm, what I like the most about it is like, yes, we'll go up at the top of the show and maybe the top of every hour we'll go there and, you know, remind about the sponsors and the drinks, whatnot. But we haven't had to go up there after each artist and call them up. Mm-hmm. It's, it, we, it, I There's think a flow. there is. Yeah, and I think everybody and, yeah. just picks up on it. Mm-hmm. And like the schedule's yeah, there. It's like, the yeah, oh, I'm next. And, yeah. yeah. Every, so once, <laughs> every once in a while you have to nudge people. Like, are you ready? Oh, oh yeah, sorry. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I or freaking someone love that. shows up late. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah right? I, learned, I learned that, that you guys just want people to go when it's their time. I like well, that. Yeah, yeah keep, keep the flow going. And, I, and by having it, it's almost like it's running itself. Totally. You know, or not itself, it's but it's feeling. almost that the musicians are the ones in charge sure. of keeping the flow going. Yeah, because cool. it's not about and us. It's, it isn't about us yeah. at all. And like, yet, it's very much about you because you create the energy in the space. Yeah, so. maybe. Well, I but try to. We, so I appreciate that. I have to we, we make that comment. We try to uh, also make it a space for networking. It's cool. Like, I've, I've seen a lot of people make friends there because sure. they just showed up with nobody and now they're friends. Mm. You bet. There's, yeah. I've so had, yeah, a couple artists, you know, and talking with them, it's like, oh, I wish I could just put a band together and I need a bass player or whatever. This actually happened recently. I won't give any names out. Um, but I've had that conversation with multiple people and it just so happened that a, a few weeks ago they were all in the same room and I was like, well, can I introduce you to so-and-so and so-and-so? And they're it's like, awesome. yeah, for sure. And now they're like yep. currently working together. Amazing. I'm just like, there you go, buddy. Like Amazing. that's what it's about, man. For sure. That's why they're coming there, right? Yeah, for they sure. They just don't know what to do or where to go or totally. who to talk to. And it's yeah. like, you got a room. There's literally 50 musicians in here. You got yeah. like 10 drummers and yeah. six bass and players. And thanks to the Capitol for like hell yes. making that effort and having you guys come out oh there. Man. I don't know how it started, if it was because you guys asked them or they asked you. Oh, no. This it was the, the open stage at the Capitol is the longest running in Saskatoon. But, but they asked you guys to be a part of it. They no, it was uh, what had happened when, kinda, when Carla okay. was leaving. Carly. Yeah. Carly was leaving. Sorry. Love you, girl. Um... <laughs> There was a, we just saw a post mm. on, on their page saying like, hey, this is what's happening. If anyone's interested in taking the position, like, you know, email us at here. So then I called up Mark and I'm like, is this something this, for us? Like we could, we can do this. Amazing. Like yep. it just fits right in. Like That's why so wouldn't we do this? We'll get to meet musicians. For we sure. can book the podcast. Mm-hmm. We can like book Moose Fest. We can Amazing. like meet people, right? Mm-hmm. Network. And the Capitol saw it the same way. So. Yeah. yeah. And, so and the Capitol has invested in open mic nights for how many years, right? It, well, exactly. It's really awesome. Started exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. Yeah. 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 But so they've cool. been so generous to Mark and myself. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, I don't think I'm speaking out of pocket, but it, the conversation is like, you guys own the night. Nice. Like, you guys are yep. in charge that night, so whatever you want to do, considering it's legal, right? <laughs> like, go ahead and do it. Like, you guys call the shots there. Do what you think is right. That's great. Um, nice. and, the, and the staff that's there, the, the waitresses, the mm-hmm. bartenders, all of it. Big Mike, shout out to Big Mike. They're all phenomenal <laughs> people to work with. Colin. Mm-hmm. I, Colin, yeah. I kid you not, in Joel Gadet's personal opinion, is this the is only best. Joel Gadet's opinion. Well, I'm, d- I'm only speaking for myself. <laughs> Colin, mm-hmm. I, you know I love you, bro. I think he's the best sound guy in the city. Nice. Hands because down. you have no, 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 because I, you've I heard would go all so, the sound guys. No, I would go <laughs> so far as to say not just in the city. What do you want from him? Just <laughs> anyone I've ever seen. Sure. Like I've like been at, at shows show. and at any show I've ever been at. If I see Colin in the booth, I'm like, it's, it's going to be, be a good a- Banger for sure, and he's a musician. (laughs) He's a musician. Yeah, he's an engineer. He mix and masters music. Yeah, he is like he's got he's got he's holding it down. That's (laughs) actually an inside scoop here. I was having a conversation with him about that this last week. Um, He hasn't promoted that. I might have to cut this out, but he (laughs) will be very soon. That he'll be you know announcing that hey, if you need mastering done, like for sure, hit him up. 
I'll talk to him now and see make, if now I can. You make it sound like you knew that before I did. <laughs> well, I just it hasn't been announced, so I, I'll have to ask yeah. him if I can leave that in the episode here or not. But, For sure. Um, but yeah, he's he's a gem, man. I freaking love that guy. Yeah. Um, I still need that message about that Volvo, but. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> love you, buddy. When we've been bugging him to come on the show too, but he's just so busy. For sure. Like, he and he has a family, and well, that's just it. He's got a family. He's got a full-time mm-hmm. job. Then he's got the side gig of running sound. For sure. Mu- like just and he's all everywhere. of his music performances and all the rehearsing and yeah and he's a father yeah you know and he and does quality performance so it takes time to build those things right he, he keeps saying that he he sucks at guitar playing but his dance moves are awesome mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no he's he's great, great. Um, to work with but yeah the yeah. capital they've been very generous to us it's good in yep. in just it's maybe not even the generosity of it but it's the trust i think is what went a long way Mm. It's like, yep. yeah, we know who you guys are. Like, do whatever you want. Nice. nice. We know you're yep. good. You know, we like we know who you are. So mm-hmm. it, it's fine. Whatever you want to do. That's and good. I've always told um, the Capitol, like, I will never do anything here without letting you know ahead of time. It's good. Like, whether it's something little or something big, I've got cooking. Like, I will at least disclose that information with you. Sweet. Like, I'm not nice. keeping anything. How long from have you guys been doing it? Since, Since December. December, almost a year now. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um. This last song I called The Well, and I, it was on the first album I ever released in 2020, and I wrote it all before uh, the pandemic, but it's crazy that I released it like <laughs> in the first bit of the pandemic. Um, and this album is called Dawn, and this song is about, well, I'm going to let it speak for itself, but, you know, the well kind of speaks for itself, but it's my well, the well of my life, and I feel like I spent 39 years of my life making music that I barely shared with anybody, just to because it helped me live life and succeed, um, and then I decided to release an album, and I was turning 40 that year, so this was... M- One of the songs on my first album. Take a drink from this well, it takes a while. It's been dark, deeper and deeper with time. But the taste. To witness 
such a perfect sunrise. A while ago, courage came in like a freight train. I remember seeing the announcement online and like if you don't like the way that social media works if you're not on at that specific time you may not see that notification you might not know oh, yeah. what's yeah. going on especially now with ads and promoted pages yeah. but so yeah I remember seeing something and then I haven't really seen like a whole lot just every now and then on a story someone's video of them there right but then I don't see you guys in those moments because it's not it's about, not us. about that's us that's right <laughs> right yeah <laughs> so yeah it's been great to get to know you guys yeah awesome. and the feeling is likewise um yeah i think we're it's mutual we're going to be doing something together it's sweet i, I hope might, so if you when yeah. as you come to <laughs> learn me or know learn about me and who i am um get to know, you. Yeah. Get to know me yeah learn yeah. me is good too though see because but it's <laughs> um, what, exactly head, <laughs> i definitely am the <laughs> wheels are spinning already that's been they they don't stop man it's sometimes like, it comes out as <laughs> it, it can and they're not all good ideas but i mm -hmm. mean i gotta verbalize them right mm -hmm. so whether it's a shitty idea i'm still gonna say it because maybe sure. somebody it can evolve into something good yeah, yeah. out definitely. of it so i don't really keep any sometimes ideas you're in. processing too when you're speaking and like isn't that what life's about like exactly why yeah. shouldn't we be having conversations yeah. all the time yeah, yep. exactly. Never hold thing. back. Yeah. Yep, yeah. that's right. And so sometimes hold back. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that whole, that you got one life. Mm -hmm. Just live it the way, you, do what you want to do, man. Mm -hmm. Like, why stop yourself from progressing and enjoying life? Mm -hmm. But uh, so, the, where does the music <coughs> school come in? Because we talked about the record label, but... They're, d they're separate from each other, definitely, okay. um, but they're very interconnected as well. So we would love it if, like, the time comes that every artist who's on the label has spent some time in the school because the goal of starting the label was it came after the school, and it was because one of the main parts of our brand is we want to teach artists how to make their art a successful business. And one of the ways you do that is you have to learn to teach people what you know. So right. like if someone wants to teach music for a part-time job, that's what I've done all my life. It works. It really works. And right. so, so it's, you it's, know, it's not a school where you teach the guitar. It's more about this is how you're you can learn you artist. can learn about instruments and writing and different things but yeah specific lessons are required for every student so right. they have to be studying an instrument yep. and focusing on writing those are very like important and there's like certain things that in our program 
excuse me, programming <laughs> that are required and then others that are optional, but like, yeah. So anyway, the school is focused on developing artists with an anchoring confidence to release that art that is inside right. them. And sometimes the reason why it's not happening is you don't have the tools you need to get there. And sometimes all that is is one year spent once a month learning a class and then taking private lessons and developing your skills. So when you spend some time doing something, then you can say, I want to show you this, yeah. right? Like, yep. why does a woodsman, craftsman, like we were looking earlier at Bellevue's history made by an amazing craftsman, but like what makes you want to take something and turn it into art? You, you need to feel like you can do it. And so yep. often we all struggle with self-doubt and like yep. it holds you back from, you never accomplish anything because you're always like, oh, wait, ah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not ready. Yeah. yeah. But like, oh, we don't want people to feel like think that. about this or what are they going to sure. say about that? But ultimately, exactly. if we really care about your mental health, if you're an artist, you need to be creating art and not only for you, but there's others who need what you have to offer. Yep. Like, for example, an incredible photographer takes photography of like individuals and he knows why he's doing it. That is part for him. He needs that process. Yeah, yeah. He's inspired because he needs to create this thing and learn about himself and learn about humanity through it, you know? Anyway. Right. Yeah. yeah, no, you're absolutely yeah, yeah. correct. We know that people need to know how to and have the confidence to make their art. So that's where the school comes in. Mm -hmm. We're also, we have like a ton of sideline, like we have a youth musical theater program. We're starting adult musical theater in January. We have a youth band. They write their own music. The youth wrote their own production this year for the musical theater production. Um, we and do. Are, are you the one teaching all of that? Yes. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> How many, how many hours in a, in a day? Yeah. <laughs> in her well, day? It's my, it's my like full-time job. Yeah. Somehow they just like multiply. <laughs> right. I don't know how it all works, but it does. I would go That's as awesome. far as to say is because you're a mother, you can do multiple things yeah, like that. Man, yes. You got it, man. Yes. Shout out to all the moms out there for all the yeah. hard yeah, work. Especially you single mothers. <laughs> I feel you. Agreed. No, it's, it's freaking awesome. Uh, I, I'm very... Pleased and honored to have met you guys. Thank you Same. for coming to the Capitol yeah, that, sure. that night. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, and thank you for coming here. For yeah, sure. I think because of this, moving forward, there's going to be so many good things yeah. coming yeah. out. And if there's serendipity is a thing, man. Hundred percent. It's yeah. that. It's uh, that. What, it's what you're putting. If you're the guy doing crack in the corner, <laughs> you, there's probably a reason why you're there. But if you're the person helping that crackhead there, there's a reason why you're in that exact moment in so that you're time. Saying things happen for a reason i think sure uh in a way yes <laughs> i'm also just saying like to i guess dumb down what i'm trying to express is that if you're a positive person and you're doing positive things out there mm -hmm. positive things will come back to mm -hmm. you karma. right it's it is a karma kind of yep. concept right mm -hmm. if you're just a negative person and you're always like kicking rocks all the time and you like wouldn't talk about that the way that you talk about that if you hadn't experienced it and you wouldn't have experienced it if you weren't the way you were so you know what you're talking about that's absolutely <laughs> correct. I'm actually, I'm 12 years, uh, I haven't had a drink in 12 years. I went, like, I've got tattoos of, like, the 12-step program, all that kind of stuff. Um, otherwise, I'd be dead or in jail, right? Like, legit. Or That's, both. Or both. Yeah, dead in jail. <laughs> dead um, in jail. So, yeah, <laughs> I've lived multiple lives, for sure. I'm only 40, but I've probably lived, like, 20 lives already, everything I've done. So, yeah. Feel you, brother. 100%. 100%. <laughs> So I don't just talk shit. There's some truth to what sure. I'm saying uh, from coming from experience. For sure. My experience. Yes, but, that's good. Um, man. But yeah, moving forward, I know there's some great things. I'm counting on a way that we can work together. Oh too. Yeah. I want to be yes, part somehow. of what yeah. you guys For are sure. doing. In Before any now, way. the reasons why we weren't had nothing to do with anything. It's just being busy and focused. Yep. And well, yeah. then we were there at open mic and boom. It, yep. And that's just, and you know what? An opportunity presented itself mm -hmm. and we all were in agreement. We're mm -hmm. like, yeah. We were let's, ready. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We knew what we were looking for without looking for it. It just <laughs> happened. Yeah, yes. I, I freaking love this, you guys. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see what you guys got coming out for the rest of the year here. Mm -hmm. All of that, I think all big things. Um, and this... This is usually Joel's line, but this door is wide open for if you want to come back on the show and you have oh, sure. someone, someone, something to promote. Yeah. Anything. Um, sure. Yeah, sure. You guys come well, we back We have events anytime. all year long, yep. so maybe 
time is either you'll announce some of ours or something yeah, yeah. or 100%. whatever. Yeah. One next Friday, but this won't be on till after that. That's then, right. So. This, this, this is, is on in two weeks. Not this Monday, but the Monday after. Right. Yeah. We, every year we're going to host Saskatchewan's Acoustic Songwriter Showcase, and it's at Lucky Bastard this year, and it will be next year as well. And it's just an opportunity for any artist across Saskatchewan to compete with one original song, and then we jury it, and then Saskatoon businesses all donated uh, prizes for the artists for winning the prizes. We have specific prizes we've created. We're really cool. And um, we're all going to be together celebrating original music and, and each other. Hell Very cool. yeah. In one week tomorrow. And wh what date? September 8th, Friday. Like, we're on your guys' side here. I, yep. I love what you guys are doing. I respect it. I want to be part of it. Mm -hmm. Whether it's something little, big, doesn't matter. If there's anything I can do to be a part of what you're doing, I would mm -hmm. love to. It would we be an awesome. honor. We, we, we. Yeah, we. Amazing. I just, I speak <laughs> we would for love myself. That. Thanks, Sometimes guys. we for don't sure. always agree on everything. For no, sure. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Doors always open. So for you guys yep. at home who are watching or listening, all their information is going to be in the description to this video, so please check out their website, take a look at it. Um, ask us questions. Out. You can ask us questions right from the website. Yeah. Always available. Yeah. Yep. 100%. Um, awesome. Very good. Thank you guys again. Yes. Thanks for coming to Bellevue. Thank you. Excellent. Right Cheers, on. guys. <laughs> Ba da 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 ba da